I didn't do my brows today and they look actually kind of normal. Hi guys, welcome back to the second video of Halloween week. Today I'm going to share an anime inspired look and it is going to be DOS from One Punch Man. When I saw One Punch Man season two and I saw her character, I was so excited. I was like, I cannot wait to create that. And I knew that Halloween was going to be the perfect time for it. I'm going to walk you through everything. So we're gonna go through blocking the eyebrows, creating the mask, creating the eyes, the whole thing, except the whole costume because that's, yeah, that's not my channel. That is not my channel at all. But if you just wanna learn how to do the face and the mask, here you go. Hello everybody. We're going to start this look by getting rid of anything that is locking your face. So for me that was faux bangs and then I'm taking a headband and making sure that I have plenty of space to work with. I'm going to start by completely diminishing my brows. So we're going to start with soap and run them through the brows and after spooling them through with soap I'm going to wait just a little bit like 10 or 15 seconds before I start pushing them into my skin because I want them to lay really flat because I'm going to add product to them. Once I'm done ensuring that they're flat against the skin, I'm going to add some loose setting powder just to keep them uh, clear for the next product. And then I'm going to add some red lipstick to color correct and clean up using a makeup wipe underneath and over basically anywhere I don't need to cover up. All right, next I'm using the NARS Pro Matte Complete Concealer and we're going to cover up the brows. This is going to be the beginning of the brow transformation. So start with patting concealer all over and then we're going to press some powder into the brows because we want to look completely alien and like we don't have any at all. And once the alien transformation is complete, we are going to move on to foundation. I'm going to use a really light foundation again. This is the ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick. I'm going to use a brush that has really packed on bristles to blend that all over the face. Once you're all blended, we're going to start with creating the outline for the forehead. So here I'm going to start mapping out where the heart is going to go on the forehead. So I'm using little dots to um, just make the outline and then I'm slowly filling in the heart. Make sure you take your time and build up the heart shape. Kind of like when you're doing eyeliner and it's super tough to do. You just have to go slowly and be super careful with it. And then I'm going to start mapping out where the mask will be on the face. So I'm going to start basically covering everything. You're going to leave a little portion of the nose and the, the forehead and eyes. And everything else is going to get covered up because basically the whole mask really covers the entire face for this look. Little tip, make sure that you're following the same line so it looks better when you're all done. And then afterwards, we're going to take a makeup wipe and we're going to remove parts of the mask because that's where her little S, like little white circular S symbols go. I'm not sure what they are. Make sure that they're similar. Mine weren't, so I just quickly went in with some black and filled it up. And then next I moved in with white and I filled up the empty area with some white paint. Now onto the hard part. The eyes are very crucial for this look. So I'm going to start out with mapping the eyebrows. So her eyebrows are just pure yellow and they're super straight up. So I used yellow first and then I outlined it with black and made sure that I made them like super, super arched and super, super high up. And then I'm going to start with the eye shape. So I'm just going right off what I think looks like the shape from the, from the pictures that I've taken of her. So I'm going to fill it in and I'm going to start with the uh, main eye part of it, the iris. So we're going to use red for the outside because she has red. Fill it inside with pink and then use red again to create um, two little sides and then use black for the pupil. And then the easy part, we're just going to take black and we're going to fill the entire area up.
a little tip here for you guys once you're set and you don't know what it looks like take your phone and take a little selfie and then you'll see the areas that you need to work on so after I took the selfie I realized that I needed to fix the line a little bit so I just used that as a guide to fill in everything and then I started creating her eyelashes All right, now on to the details. So I'm going to start by uh, doing the S that's written on her actual little white symbols there. I'm gonna go back in and fix it and make it a little bit thicker later. And then I'm also gonna take purple that I used uh, combining blue, red, and white. And I'm gonna use that to kind of just go all over the face and create a more 3d effect so like right here you can see i'm making the knob look like it's sticking out by using this purple shade in strategic places to make it just look like it's popping out and then i'm taking white it looks like there's some white on the edges of the mask probably where it like sticks on and then I'm going to also use white to create light. So this is where light would fall onto her mask and that you can notice um, a little bit going through. Now in the beginning, it's going to seem really like too much because it's so white, but wait for just a few like seconds for it to dry down. And once it's dried down, you can blend it in and it's going to look natural and it's just going to look like certain areas have more light. It's supposed to, it's going to look like light was shining in those areas. And you're done. Add a wig, make sure you add your flower, a necklace, preferably don't make it like I did. And you're done with this look. And that was the second video of Halloween week. I hope you guys liked. If you liked, give it a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>